What's up everybody, it's your boy JD back again with another video. You guys know what time it is. It's time to hop back in a time limited genius dark night. So we're about to go and get into it. See what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already and want to take support any further, Patreon link is in the description below. Also join our top game membership and hit the notification bell. So you get notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. Master, are you unwell? The shadows under your eyes are. Yeah, my boy do look kind of tired. I'm well. You don't look well. I gotta agree with Zitri on this. I mean, I'm done selecting the courses to take. That's, that's what got you tired? Selecting courses? Okay, who this? Good morning, Master Nouse of the Lionhaber family. Who this? And you are... Right. Oh, my apologies, sir. I'm Rick, a valet in service of Miss Eleanor de Rivlin. It's a privilege to meet you, sir. Okay, Rick. Um. Alrighty, Rick. Right now, the the fuck now? This he <laughs> like what the hell's going on? You know I can't. You are getting agitated. Your trade gifted actor is currently active. Your agitation calmed. Danger. But why so early in the morning? Oh, but why so early in the game? Danger. Rick the Trickster. Oh. He will betray the Rivlin Enterprise later in Chapter 3, which certainly thickens the plot. Wait, time out. <clears throat> time. What chapter are we on? <laughs> wait, we're still in Chapter 2? Jeez, wait, we haven't even reached Chapter 3 yet? Golly, bro! I promise, I could have sworn we was like in chapter three or something by now. We're not even in chapter three yet. Shit. <clears throat> also, he's a devil worshiper. In other words, he will stab Eleanor in the back. The enemy of your enemy is your friend. Yeah, that's not how this game works. Rick is the scum of all scum that should be avoided at all cost. I'm here on behalf of my lady to present you with this gift. It is an invaluable artifact. Be gone. <clears throat> he like, I already know who you is, go. I mean, sure, I'm curious of what that artifact is, but it's a poison chalice, I must not take it. Forgive me. Do not make me repeat myself. He like, oh, okay, all righty. He like, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, you might want to go in, might want to go in and leave. Master, wait for me. You might have to tell the Zitri, stay far away from him. Don't ever go near him. Need I remind you how delicate you are? If you ever stumble and fall, it may do you tragic harm. Honestly, is that what you think of your master? I mean, she's not totally wrong, though. Only a few days ago, you suffered a cold shivers and icy hands and feet all at once. In my life, I have never before imagined such a degree of infirmity was physically possible. Thank you for reminding me, but I'm well now. I assure you, I won't just fall dead. At least not yet. I know you won't. I'm nonetheless concerned for you.
you have a you have a propensity. What the hell does that mean? A propensity? A propensity? Or standing amidst turmoil. What does that mean? I'm sorry, I'm I am not advanced in the words. Propensity. Let me see. I'm I'm very good. And y'all think I'm playing. I am dead serious. I'm about to look that up. It's probably something they easily could have said. An inclination or natural tendency to behave in a particular way. They could have just said, well, they could just say you have a tendency, you know, to, you know, for standing amidst turmoil. They had to be all fancy and use big words. Who? Yes, I do. No, I'm popular. Thank you. She like, uh huh, right. I get it. To Zitri, Knox was more than just her master. He saved her life. I mean, we save a lot of people lives. That don't mean shit. And her trait on wavering loyalty may have something to do with his separation anxiety. Oh, incidentally, Matt asks why you were so severe with that valet boy. Who, Rick? Yes, I've never seen you react with such emotion to anyone ever. Zitri, listen. Stay clear of that boy. Stay far away from him. If, if ill news could assume human guise, that would be Rick. Is he being unjust because of his past disagreement with Miss Eleanor? No, that's not the master Knox I served and observed so far. He surely must have his reasons. Noted, Master. I shall heed your advice and avoid him on every occasion. Good. I already know how this story goes. I must keep away from Rick and, of course, Eleanor, too. Well, especially since I took the first step wrong and unnecessarily engaged her already. I must take every caution possible. Yes, you should, but can you? Can I be more stupid? I actually thought life would let me do that. But the, oh, but the semester only just started. Why are all my plans being thwarted? Today, you will form small groups with your classmates. They will be your class partners throughout the academic year. Oh shit, I don't like that. Him. It is a oh it is a task of utmost importance, for it's through friendship that successful camaraderie is found on a battlefield. Crap. Why well, did not see this coming? Even in this world, having no friends can cause some very serious problems. Each group sh should consist of four members. Try to find classmates with whom you share goals with. Well, no shit, Nox. Nice. Well, what the hell did you expect? You expect not having friends was going to just let you slide on through? You, you, you just expect being a loner was going to work to your favor until the end of time? No. no. In a quick, you, you. See, this is why I kept saying, bro, you need to stop being so mean to these people. You need to stop being so mean to these people, bro. It, it ain't that deep. It ain't that deep no more. It really ain't. I believe 30 minutes would be more than enough. Nope. He like, I don't have no friends. No amount of time will be enough to find three people who can tolerate Knox. Sir, what happens if I choose not to join any group? You will get an F. I would have walked up to him and said that. I wouldn't have just said that to where everybody can hear me. I would have walked up to him and asked, hey, what happens if I decide not to join the group? You And then he would say, hey, you would get an F. Then I'd be like, okay, well, let me cozy on back to my seat and pretend like, you know, I'm just not trying to be an ass or a loner, you know. But now you just outed yourself in front of everybody. And remember that you won't have a chance to take the course again. Solitary plays will not be well received. Do you understand, Mr. Lionhaber? 
Yes, sir. Starting with the school, oh, starting the school year with an F. But receiving an F leads to immediate expulsion from Ellendine. Damn you, rigorous ac academic rules. But I just can't get kicked out. Your Royal Highness, may I have the honor? If granted the chance, I shall assist you with my life, ma'am. I saw you wield that blade and I'm beyond impressed, Paracelsus. Oh no, we got some people here. Okay, I didn't know they was all in the same class as us. Oh, we straight. We Gucci. Oh, we ain't got nothing to worry about. We Gucci people. I thought we was all by ourselves. All by ourselves. We straight. We Gucci, man. We got this. We got plenty of people to partner with. Lion, you and I, what do you say? Now think. How do I find friends for this hopeless kid with no social charm whatsoever? Bro, the, the crazy thing is, he be acting like he can't avoid being an ass. That's the crazy part about all of this. Knox, you act like you cannot avoid being an ass. With you, which you can. You cannot literally be an ass. You choose to be an ass. It is different. It is different because you're not the real Knox. You don't even have to be an ass. You keep choosing to be an ass. <laughs> you don't have to be one, but you choose to. So how are you going to say uh, with a hopeless kid with no social charm? You're not hopeless. You choose to be hopeless and have no social charm. That's the whole. That's the problem. That's the problem. You're choosing to be this way when you don't have to be this way. You're fucking yourself over. Come now, Eleanor. Consider me. I'm strong and swift. See? I told you. We straight, though. Luckily, we straight. We got people that's going to join us anyway. Have I told you of the... Oh, have I told you of the chef my family engaged, Eleanor? Oh, the specials? Yeah, I know what that's a. You'll be invited to. Suarez. That's, that's what I meant. Okay. She going to Knox. And probably the princess going to Knox. And probably one more person. Now it's fine lying, hey, bro. He like, shit. <laughs> he like, out of all people, I'd rather not you. I hear that my gift did not bring you so much joy. He like, shit. You leave me but one way to repay my debt to you. What is that supposed to mean? You need colleagues. You're looking at one. How very brazen of her, but I can tell. I'm just meant to team up with her. Also, as the saying goes, Knox, worry not, you have me too. Right, we got we got hoes. We got hoes. We got hoes. That's two. Now, where, where's the third one? Where's our third? Misfortunes never come singly. We need one more, right? We we need we need one more teammate. Of course, you got your fiance, so Miss Forges never key like this this gonna be a headache. I mean, I get it. Dahlia is tender hearted by nature. Like it or not, Knox is her fiance now, and being the nice person that she is, she simply couldn't let him be left alone. If only goodwill led to good result. I must say, I'm surprised. What's so surprising? How about that same question? The fact that there is someone who is willing to stand as your friend. Considering what Knox has done, I should probably take her snide remarks silently, but that was like a slap in the face. Knox, we stand together, yes? Oh, we most certainly do, Miss St ah, Miss Stairliner. Now, we need but one more colleague. Not even bothering to ask what I think now. I would love to, but the thing is, you're not the one with the choices here. If only you weren't clever. <laughs> Unfortunately, she is 100% right. To get my lost memories back, I must not get kicked out of Ellendine. 
And not just that, I need good grades. For the first episode to unfold. We're in the first episode. Lord Jesus. I could have sworn we was like in the second. We are still in the first. Oh my gosh. We are in the first episode. I could have sworn we was in the second. My grades have to be in the top 10% of the class. It will. Oh, it will be my first battle against the Grand Duke of the Devil Dome. And it will be the first time that I will be required to play the hero and the villain at the same time. It's a pleasure to join your group. I'm Fell. Who the fuck is Fell? I'm confident we will do great. Good. At least the last one looks normal. So that's who we choose? We choose this dude? Thought we were going to choose somebody else. I thought we were going to have an all-star team. Fell. Male, 15. Element, none. Accomplishments, none. Trace, positive. Social charm, meek. Prepared, devout, neutral, negative, obtuse. That's who we choose. That's who we get? Can we, can we switch him out for somebody? Wait, no. Blessing. One-time use. Jackpot. Blessing, huh? What that mean? His attributes are subpar, but that's not even important. What's blessing, though? Blessing. It's one of those game-changing skills in Inner Lunatic. It unbridles a dormant skill of the user's teammates. Although the user cannot unbride their own skills with it. Hold on, this is kind of odd though. Blessing is a rare skill owned almost exclusively by saint units who spent their lives in abbeys. How can a mere student at Elendine have it? Well, musings for another time. May I have your name, miss? I'm Eleanor de Riverman. I'm certain we'll bring out the best in each other. I'm Dollar Von Steinliner. It's a pleasure to meet you. I believe I do not need to introduce myself. Yes, now you are correct. You do not need to introduce yourself. Try impeding my progress. Any one of you, seriously, try. It appears all of you found your colleagues. Now you have until next week to learn better about each other. Unless there are special circumstances, your group will stay together until the end of the semester. I wish you the best of luck. What, you crazy old Knox? You're speaking out loud. Yeah, I meant for him. <laughs> that dude will say, yeah, I meant for him to hear that shit. Oh, um, but here's our professor. Maybe better not. Oh, maybe better restraint next time. Drop it. I have my group now. <clears throat> oh, also, Knox. What courses are you enrolled in? Oh, I don't mean to pry. I was just... Oh, come on. You really think I don't know why you're asking that question? Curious? Yes, I asked you out of curiosity. You thought I would let my selection of easy A subjects like that. Not, se not selection out <laughs> of easy A subjects. That's the sort of information one pays for. What? No, that's... You thought you could have casually approach me and fish out that classified info. Oh my god. We cannot be this dumb. We cannot be this bad at reading people, bro. It is not. -uh. Hell no. Easy A's are all mine. That is not why she was asking. What? That is not why she was bro. Bro, she doesn't care about easy A's. That is not why she was asking you that question. She was asking you that question to be with you, not to get easy A's. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus, Knox. Oh, my God, bro. Knox is, Knox is something else, bro. I can't. Let's do to something else. He be so deep in to try to maneuver through the damn game that he just be missing all the social cues and then be confused when shit doesn't would go sideways or people go left like bro you you just be missing the social cues 
Elendine is Elendine for a reason. I haven't seen a list for purchase so extensive. All the scrolls and books of magic, magic tools. I presume there's no rumor the precious few commoners who enroll often cannot graduate due to financial constraints. Well, that's of no concern to me. Commoners who are talented enough to ever get admitted and graduate are unlikely to have a hard time fighting patrons if any of them enter Elendine but fail to graduate. The issue is lack of talent, not funding. Go rot in hell, you scoundrel. Step away from the stand now. The crowd is rather rowdy here. Sure, at times this town descends to utter pandemonium. Most of all walks of life gather here, you know. But who they yelling at? No need to pay heed. Their butt. Huh? Who that is? That's... Do you not see the queue behind you? If you're not about to buy it, drop it and leave. Who are you? Who that? <clears throat> Lon Von Marbus, the young leader of the Marbases. But who are you yelling at, though? One of the three dark families. Oh, that's who we're talking? Why does it look just like us? Why does it look like the nicer form of Knox? Who is this? <clears throat> yes, I yes, I know who his name, Lion, but or Leon. Is it, it's probably Leon, huh? That sounds more fancy because, you know, this here we do do fancy words and shit. It's probably Leon. But, um, um, why does it look so much like Nas? If I remember correctly, his family is broke by now, but he's not a bad kid. He'll just brush it off and I apologize. Oh, I apologize, sir. But I'm simply pondering for a rational choice by picking up and putting down the same item for hours. Cut out that nonsense and get lost. Elodine truly must be going under, and many destitute lowborn and all. Damn, bro, it's kinda, kinda harsh. Destitute lowborn. You are right that my family is going through a turbulent time. But my apology, my boy say, hold on, you come <laughs> low born, huh? But he like, boy, I'm about to body your stupid ass. What? What Leon say, nah, bro. Wait, he's a necromancer? Oh, this might be my dude. I really don't care for your choice of words. Wait, is he fucking serious? Sure, he says some fairly offensive things, but this is district for the commercial zone. You can't use magic in front of all of these people. And not just any magic, you practice black magic. I ain't gonna lie, that, that mother kind of fire. Master, where are you going? He's going to save his us. Look at that bastard's eyes. I must go, he's on the brink of doing something reckless. But how can you just tell from his eyes? Those are my eyes when I'm on the brink. She like, I, I guess. You deranged little, have you any inkling of what you're about to unleash? How dare you? Step aside. You. Be gone now. Unless it is your wish to die here. Have you any idea who I am, these young mongrels? Who do you think you are? Who am I, you ask? Need I? Introduce myself. My boy say, you know who I am. You know who I am, you know who I be. He like, you know who I be. But that's it for today's video, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. You did. Make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me, Twitch, Twitter, Discord links, all of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.